Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, thanks for your attention to this talk. My name is Jorge Rudas, and I'm a member of Computational Modeling of Biological in Colombia. Uh, this presentation is entitled as a multimodal prediction of aggressive behavior occurrence using an decision level approach. Um, this, this presentation will show the preliminary laboratory project, which is carried out for three research partners, in particular the Secretaria um, de Seguridad, Convivencia y Justicia in Bogotá, uh, the private company Quanti, and the National University from Colombia. Okay, um, this is the presentation outline first. I'm going to talk about what is an aggressive behavior in the criminological context. After that, I will introduce the challenge of multimodal fusion data for predictive context for this problem. And following, I will show the results of our multimodal fusion strategy to predict the occurrence of aggressive behavior in Bogota. And finally, I will mention some conclusion and some future works. Okay, um, aggressive behavior is an uh, individual or an, a collective uh, social interaction with an unhosty uh, behavior with the intention uh, of inflicting damage or harm. Um, it's important to mention that this phenomenon is an, a significant trigger of personal injuries. Um, um, I'm I'm Cities in the cities. A fundamental problem in the design of safety and health public policies. Um, also, aggressive behavior may be expressed, may be expressed from, from a verbal abuse to physical abuse. Um, it can also involve harming personal property. Overall, Aggressive shares several social boundaries and it can lead to breakdown in, in your social relationship. Several factors have been related with the emergency of aggressive behavior in the, in the cities. For instance, uh, drug and alcohol use seem a strong link with the emergency of aggressive behavior. Several factors such as among individual and social belief in dependence and experience or witnesses aggression can all contribute to the link between alcohol consumed and violence. Collegalism is violent or, or destructive behavior perpetrated by a spec of football events. This kind of behavior are not recorded in Bogotá, but has ever happened. Bullying is, is another important triggering of aggressive behavior. People who are affected by it can react in an aggressive, in, in an aggressive way in response to, to the bullying. Moreover, um, I have suggested that more unequal societies tend to be more violent because these problems related to the absence of education domestic violence, but affected family environment, and in general, and a total corrupt social culture practice. This possible factor for the emergency of aggressive behavior have several implications in the societies. For instance, aggressive behavior are the most important cause of personal injuries, and in many cases, is the most important cause of homicides, for example, in Bogota. Finally, aggressive behavior is a very common trigger of, uh, of family violence. Um, in Bogota, aggressive behavior has an irrelevant implication. Uh, for example, government, governmental reports show that approximately every minute aggressive behavior is reported in Bogota. <laughs> and, and, 20% of personal injuries and homicides may be related to the aggressive behaviors. In fact, during 2020, close to 1 million of aggressive behavior incidents were reported in Bogotá. Then, 
whichever strategy help to mitigate the occurrence of, of this kind of event, events is very welcome. Three different strategies are used in Colombia to identify an aggressive behavior event. By using, uh, for example, by using the report for the National Emergency Phone Number, or for example, by using the legal complaints report, or by using the infraction to coexistence report for the National Police Department. Each of them has some advantage and disadvantages, for instance. For instance, report from the National Emergency Phone Number can have a wide range of action among people. Um, many people can do reports anonymously. However, sometimes it's difficult to confirm the report. Respect to the legal complaints report, this information is totally confirmed. However, only a few aggressive behavior becomes in an illegal complaint. And finally, uh, infraction from the police department depend only uh, of the police logistic available to impose penalty across the cities. Um, even if three different sources of aggressive behavior are available to quantify aggressive behavior and individually, each of them can be used to build predictive model for this kind of phenomenon. And a complementary approach seems to, to be the better way to do that. Predicting Spatial temporary, the occurrence of, of aggressive behavior is an apparent problem, which, which its result can be used to make decisions about politics in the cities. About that, and related with the previous ideas, we hypothesis uh, that, an, uh, that in a predictive context, an, a data fusion approach produces better results compared with the traditional unimodal data approach. This idea makes sense because data fusion approaches explore the difference and commonality among each individual source of information. Then, better products should be produced due to the complementarity in, in the data sources. In order to do that, we propose the use, uh, the use of an ASEG self-excited point process modeling to model in the aggressive behavior events. The assumption here is that this kind of crime emerges as a source of, uh, of the social, economic, and environmental context. And it, and it is exacerbated by the occurrence of the same kind of event uh, as a triggering. This triggering effect decayed temporarily, as you can see in this formulation. In this formulation, this term is our background related to the context, and this other term is related to the, the triggering effect, and the, and the exponentiation term is related to the um, decay in the temporal context. Um, okay, we use this formulation uh, for each individual data source to fit the parameter for, for a self-exciting self point process model. And after that, we combine the, the, the output for each uh, of our model uh, in an, a unique spatial temporal prediction. This is our experimental setting, two different operator were evaluated, average and maximal operator for the fusion data approach. And moreover, three additional models were used. Um, in particular, the model fitted by using the individual and isolate data sources were used. Then um, we have an, a model fitting for the legal compliance. Um, we have another model fitting for the for the police penalty penalty resorts. Another model was fitting using the, um, the data from the emerging score reports. These three models are the experimental control of our approach. Uh, 
Uh, nested crop validation was used as an validation strategy. Particular, in particular, we use a day forward chaining strategy. Parameter were computing using an expectation maximization approach. And hit rate was using as a quality prediction measurement or fit measurement. Okay. This is our main results. The figure summarized, summarized it. Uh, color in the figure represent the data source using to, to do the validation. Those in the first group, uh, in the first group of bar, you can see the hit rate values achieved when the model was fitting using each of the individual data source and um, validate with itself. The other bar group show, show the results when the multimodal approach was used together with two different fusion operator, average fusion and maximum uh, fusion operator. As you can see, multimodal approach produce better results independently on the fusion operator compared with the unimodal approach. Finally, we evaluate in order uh, if we evaluate two properties, um, in or, in two properties related to the, the spatiotemporal map prediction in order to understand an, in an average way our results. In particular, we, we explore entropy and energy inside the, the spatiotemporal prediction map. High entropy value were, evi were evidences on multimodal approach and high energy budget for unimodal prediction. Then, multimodal approach maximize the information inside the spatiotemporal maps compared to the unimodal approach. This is because different data sources are related in a complementary way, and data function complement the information across every data source. Okay. As a conclusion of this work, we can say the following. Uh, we have an, a model to predict aggressive behavior occurs in BOTA by using an um, self siding point process model. Um, average and maximum to combine data related to aggressive behavior uh, occurs and from different source, higher hit rate were observed on a multimodal approach. A multimodal approach generate maps with higher entropy and low energy. That, that, that is related to the maximization of the information uh, produced to the fusion data approach. And, and uh, as in a future world, I think we need to, to explore other fusion operator and other data fusion level approach in order to confirm our, uh, our um, funding. Finally, we would like to express our thanks to all our collaborator. With, um, without their help, this work was not possible. Thanks so much. Any question? Yeah, many thanks. A uh, question in the chat uh, at this time, no? Um, the talk has been very interesting, but I have a question. Uh, what is the final goal? Uh, what you want to predict? You want to predict uh, in general for the city if they will have uh, attack, aggressive behaviors, or do you want to, to 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 predict in which place specific? What is uh, the use the usage the, of that? The, the, the main the main goal of this work is to predict the predict spatially and temporally the occurrence of aggressive behavior. Where place possible is related to an occurrence of aggressive behavior and in which time. This is the main goal of this work. Um, so but. but Traditionally, the people use only one data source. Um, our proposal in this world is to use many uh, information data source. Um, and the proposal in this world is use uh, fusion data um, combining fusion approach 
in order to improve our results. This is our main goal in this in, in this uh, talk. Yeah, but so you, you, in fact, you predict the risk of uh, of occurrence of aggressive behavior. Um, in my mind, I am not at all a specialist. I'm sorry, but in my mind, that could um, some some information as uh, sometimes as people say that the weather can uh, can have some influence. Of the behavior of the person, mm -hmm. or some uh, event like football match or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, it's why uh, do you have a place to introduce that, or just take into account uh, uh, information coming from the police and the and the phone uh, calls? Yeah. The, 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 that is possible, but in this case, we, we don't use that information. Um, mm -hmm. but, but, the main, but the main idea is to produce uh, something like an risk map of the operation of aggressive behavior. And in the practical context, where there is an, a possible use, for example, you can provide this, this model to the police in order to the, the police can be used the resource in, in order to plan what is the, the policy strategy. Uh, that means, for example, if the model produce um, or the model suggests uh, that in some place the 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 risk of a, of occurring of aggressive behavior is higher, the police can be moved uh, to that place. This is the the the, the practice context uh, for this kind of work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I ha I have a question. Yeah, um, I I was wondering why did you choose to to measure the metrics of uh, entropy and and energy? Is this a common metric to evaluate the amount of information generated, or or why are you measuring this? Ah, because because, because the output of the model is is something like an a uh, spatial pattern, no? Um, because because um, because the, the prediction basically is on a risk map. Um, so the, the use of entropy and energy is very common to evaluate uh, the, the, the pattern in this context. So uh, for that, we, we propose to use that matrix. So the, the highest the entropy, the better the system. High entropy, yeah, yes. High entropy in this context produce a more informative uh, risk map. So, uh, in this context, high entropy is, is a better result. And are you planning to use images, or what are your source? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I maybe I missed that information, but you are using different source, and I don't know if you are using videos or images or. No, at the moment we we just uh, we just use um, event reports. It's, it's something like a time series. Um, but in fi in future wars, uh, I think we can use other kind of information. For example, videos. That that is a good idea. But in this moment, we, we just use um, event reports. Okay, thank you. Any other comments or question? No. So thanks again uh, for this nice talk and presentation. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.